January 20th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. I hope everybody had a good day today. Uh, it's kind of slow today, so it's going to be pretty quick. Uh, we're going to start off on Earth Changes or Scott.net. Uh, U.S. More birds dead, more dead birds found this time in Scottsboro, Alabama. And then they've got stories of uh, the Brazilian floods, which continue. They're still pulling more and more people out. And uh, they also they're reporting preliminary results show pneumonia as cause of mass cattle cattle death in Amherst, Wisconsin. And that's all they have new up today. Um, get up here, the extinction protocol, maybe. Uh, they have the pelican story I put out last night. Uh, the 100 pelicans fall ill in Florida. Uh, that's in Jacksonville area. Or they got Mayport. Uh, flurry of tremors rock New Zealand. Now, um, whether or not reported this on last night, I attached it to uh, my climate change last night. If you want to go back and check on what he said on that. Um, George Lucas believes in 2012. Woo-woo. A 5.3 earthquake rattles the Republic of Georgia. Five aftershocks follow. And then they have a uh, 4.9 earthquake strikes eastern China. And the other thing we've got going on today is off the disaster uh, network UB Alert. Indonesia's ancient temples threatened by volcan volcanic lava floods. Now in Jakarta, local media reported on Wednesday that Indonesia geologists state that the volcanic debris, also called lathar, streaming down the slopes of Mount Meripai is threatening homes and infrastructure as well as the architectural sites in the area. Uh, according to Sambandrino, the head of the volcanic investigation and technology development Development Institution, a team of archaeologists and geologists was assisting the physical condition of the temples slated closed to the paths of the Lashar flows from Maripai. So the story goes on, of course, and uh, <clears throat> they're still dealing with the volcano, and then the floods mixes with all that uh, ash and lava mud, making all kinds of problems. Uh, we're going to go ahead and end it on the RSOE. Um, they are reporting, of course, the snowstorms in the United States and uh, up in Canada. I guess uh, it's getting bad enough where Canada's closing schools in some parts. Oh, where was that? Uh, New Brunswick. Uh, they're also reporting an explosion in China. Apparently, a big uh, fuel manufacturing plant exploded in China and uh, six people died, 300 injured. Where was that located at? The province of uh, L-I-A-O-N-I-N-G and it's on uh, RSOE today. So that's about it going on today and of course they're covering the floods in Brazil, the continuing floods in Australia, uh, the floods in Sri Lanka, Philippines and uh, the list goes on and on. We also have Australia. They're going on about the thousands of fish that have uh, been found dead in uh, Jervis Bay in Australia. The dead fish have been found washed up on beaches in uh, Kalala Bay to Hare Bay. The fish kill being investigated by NSW Fisheries in conjunction with the Department of Environment. Of course, I will post that list below as well. Um, like I said, that's about it for today. Um, enjoy what you can. Thanks, everybody.